Hey Ranger fans, welcome back. Uh, Dave here. I got another toy review. Um, I just picked up this uh, new uh, Super Ninja Steel uh, Power Rangers action figure. Um, it's basically this first release that's come out since probably during January or so, or the whole uh, season last year for just regular Ninja Steel. Um, this is like the first, uh, things that have come out at all since then, um, basically it's called the, uh, Red Ranger Spin Saw, which is basically like, it gives you like a Red Ranger action figure with this like, uh, kind of backpack that goes on it and then he holds this like big buzz saw that comes out, um, I don't know yet if it's in the, uh, the new Super Ninja Seal season, um, you know, it hasn't come back, uh, I believe it's starting August 25th, and then there's actually a 25th anniversary that's, uh, also coming out in August, um, that's actually gonna be at 8 p.m., so it's gonna be, like, a pretty special episode, um, where they're gonna have, like, other rangers from other seasons come back, and it's supposed to be pretty, uh, spectacular, um, you know, a lot of, like, Power Ranger talk is that it's going to be, like, one of the best episodes or something like that, you know. So, basically, we got the, uh, you know, your basic, uh, Super Ninja Steel, uh, packaging with, like, the, uh, Red Thunderbolt here. And, um, basically, you have this little Try Me mode here, which is, like, kind of pick it up here. Basically, what it is, you just kind of push it, and when you push it... Uh, it's a little hard to see with my finger there, but when you push it forward on the try me, it basically pushes the little saw blade out and it spins it around. So, and then you get your little display here that they've had on most of the packaging now, where instead of just saying what's in it, they'll just show a little picture of the figure and then the two accessories that come with it. And not much on the side. And we'll take a look at the back of the box. And uh, basically you got a good look at the, uh, basically what it's supposed to be doing. You got a saw action, we're showing it coming out. Um, it says here, spin saw is compatible with other ranger figures. So any of the other figures that you get, you know, from the past or even now, um, you can just fit this on them. Um, I don't believe the backpack's going to fit on them though because... Um, I don't know if the, uh, I'd have to check to see if any of the other Ranger figures have a, uh, like a peg port in the back of them, because, uh, this figure has it. And, uh, take a quick look at the bottom. Basically what you see here is, this is actually another figure that's in the same line, and it's, uh, I think it's called, like, the, uh, Blue Ranger Dragon Scorch, or it's called, like, the Scorch Fire Ranger. Which basically it has a similar action where instead of like the saw blade, it kind of has this like trigger action where when you uh, pull it with your finger, then it makes it look like fire is coming out of the dragon's mouth and uh, it's got this little backpack. I was actually looking for this one instead of the one that I found, but I mean I was going to get either one of them. But uh, I got this at my local Target, but they were already probably sold out of that one pretty quickly. And then... Uh, you know, over here, you get a picture of the uh, same Rangers that have been out for almost a year. So, I don't know why they would put them back on the uh, box. Um, you know, that's not even half of the current Rangers that you can even get now. So, you know. But that's basically it for the packaging. You can take a look at the QR code if anybody wants to get a look at that. And, you know, you can go to, like... Walmart or Target and give them a QR code and then they can look it up to see whether or not they have it in the store And that's basically it for the packaging. So without further ado, let's get it out and uh, check out how cool this uh, really is Okay, so we got out of the packaging So basically it comes with this uh, standard instructions um, You can kind of take a look at it um, Seems like a lot of instructions um, for something that they basically tell you what it does in the box. 
basically you put the suit on and you put it in his hand. So I don't know that they needed to print all this out. Uh, that's basically it. We don't need instructions. We know what it does. <clears throat> it's a saw blade that spins. So anyway, so basically, let's take a quick look at the uh, Ranger figure and see how see what this guy's like. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I uh, think it's pretty neat. Um, you know, I think kids are gonna like it. Because it's got like, um, it's kind of like a real gimmicky, um, where it's more, has more playability, because it has, uh, you know, the uh, saw blade, and it's really big. Something that kids would like, um, not for like major collectors, unless you're like a, a big Power Ranger completionist fan who, you know, likes to have, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that comes with it. I like a lot of the uh, mech suits and stuff like that that come out. Um, so this is pretty close to that. Um, so this uh, Red Ranger figure is basically like... Uh, kind of like the bike figures that you get. Um, with a lot of the Power Ranger stuff. Um, doesn't have a lot of articulation. But... Um, you know, it's more for, like, the, the bike figures, they basically, they're only built for the bike. They're not, like, uh, they don't have a lot of uh, movement or anything. Like, basically, this one, this guy doesn't even turn his head. It basically is just to look in the direction where he's trying to spin the sword. He does have some wrist uh, spin here, and uh, this arm doesn't move. And this one does get some up and down movement. I guess you can get, like, a 360 and also this hand moves he does have some waist articulation where it spins and uh, nothing in the knees and uh, he does have some turn in the boots so if that helps at all not really but so basically um, you know uh, you have some pretty good paint apps here you know his uh, gloves are all painted and uh, he does have some you know, paint on his face here to outline the shield, and then on his uh, kind of ninja suit here, you have the uh, the star here. So, and then you have red on the boots, and then he's got a belt here that's painted here in the front, but not in the back. So that's basically that for the figure. It does seem to be a little hard to stand. Uh, you kind of have to get like the uh, the feet kind of going the right way. Um, but that's not even half the problem. Is that basically it um, for the figure? And then this is the uh, the little backpack that comes with it. It's basically just uh, it's kind of like shoulder armor, and then it has a little peg on the back that pegs into his uh, the back of him. And uh, you know you have some nice little some gold paint here, uh, you know painted over. Uh, some gray plastic and then you have some little accents of uh, light blue here so it's pretty nice and then you have the uh, saw blade here which is basically like matching to the uh, suit where you have gold pla uh, you know you have like gray plastic with some gold accents and um, you know the blade here is blue so basically what it is this has this lever right here and what you do is you push it forward and basically it extends the little saw blade out and it spins and activates it like that. So that's pretty neat. You know, I've not really seen too many gimmicks like that as far as action figure wise. I've seen that on, uh, you know, like one or two more, uh, one or two like Batman, Batmobiles and stuff like that. Where there's like more of like a gimmick for uh, Batman figures where they kind of had that saw blade action. So that's pretty cool that... Um, you know, Power Rangers came out with that. So that's basically it uh, for the saw blade. So let's see if we can snap this on him and uh, take a look at him complete. So basically, you just kind of fit it over it like this. Uh, actually, goes like this. So let's try to. You have to have his arms down and uh, try to find the peg right here. Turn it around like this. Hmm. There we go. Still not there. Hmm. 
I guess it's kind of in. Seems a little weird, but I guess it's on. Uh, yeah, now it's on. Alright. So, and then basically what it is, is you have this little handle here, and then a clip. Uh, so it only fits into one hand, but basically what it is, is you gotta try to like, it's hard to do it on camera without getting it. Basically you just fit it into his hand like this, and then you just kind of clip it around. And that's basically it, you know, and you get it um, basically like that. So it looks like he's holding it, and then you can kind of just like have it go out. And uh, again, so let's take a close look of it like that. And uh, you can get it to go a little bit sideways. Um, you know, first of all, it's very front heavy and top heavy. Um, because of this massive like saw blade action uh, let's see if we can tilt it down a little bit so you can see his face um, again more towards you know geared towards kids because of the playability um, you know basically kids aren't really worried about like having it standing up too much they're more or less going to be holding it and then fighting with their friends or stuff like that um, so again I can kind of show you Probably if you have it with the saw blade down, but as it stands, she ain't going to stand. There is no way. Um, but I feel like if I can get it, yeah, that's basically it. That's all you're going to get. Um, you know, again, it's probably, uh, you do have some peg holes if you take a look. Um, so maybe somebody might have a base and then they can get a, uh, you know, a base with pegs so they can peg it in, um, you know, more or less, you're probably going to have to lean it if you're going to display it. So, so that's basically it for the, uh, what's it, the, uh, the Red Ranger, uh, spin saw. So it's pretty good figure. Um. You know, again, it's uh, the only first thing that they've come out with since uh, the new seasons come on. So, um, you know, basically I give it like, uh, I don't even know, maybe like a 5 out of 10, 6 maybe. I mean, the, the gimmick of the saw blade is pretty cool, but, uh, you know, again, with the figure not having a lot of posability and it being so top-heavy because of the blade... It doesn't lend itself to collectors very well, but it, it is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get the uh, Scorch Fire Blue Ranger anyway. Um, so that's basically it for the, the review. Um, remember to leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. And uh, until next time, see you guys again.